trying to protect his students' innocence, he told them the Ice Age was really just the chilly age, a period of a million years when everyone had to wear sweaters. And the Stone Age became the Gravel Age, named after the long driveways of time. The Spanish Inquisition was nothing more than an outbreak of questions, such as, how far is it from here to Madrid? What do you call the matador's hat? The War of the Roses took place in a garden, and the Enola Gay dropped one tiny atom on Japan. The children would leave his classroom for the playground to torment the weak and the smart, mussing up their hair and breaking their glasses, while he gathered up his notes and walked home past flower beds and white picket fences, wondering if they would believe that soldiers in the Boer War told long, rambling stories designed to make the enemy nod off. The teacher. There is a part of us that believes we will never die. Otherwise, how could we watch so much television? And there is a part of us that believes when we die, all life will come to an end. This is the part that storms within us, dragging its robes across the marble floor. But what I like to believe is that the minute I die, the world will change into a map of the world, which I will roll up into a tube and carry with me wherever I am going. It could be an antique map with pictures of sea serpents in the corners or a huge Mercator projection. But when I finally get to where I am going, and I have a feeling it, it will take days, I will spread out the map on something flat, and there I will study the patterns of shorelines and boundaries, maybe reminisce about a country I once visited or a strait where a naval battle once took place. I also like to believe that there will be other beings there who will gather around this picture of the earth so I can explain to them what it was like, how the cold mountains rose above valleys, how this was called geography, how the people from this pale blue area crossed into the light green area to the south and killed whoever they found there this was known as history. And as they listen, mild-eyed and silent, others will arrive, join the circle, like ripples moving toward the center instead of away. <laughs>